African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 20th of April, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. The Zapad group of forces units captured more advantageous lines and inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine's 77th Airmobile, 43rd Mechanized, and 110th Territorial Defense Brigades near Beryozovka, Senkovo, and Zagoroykovka, Kharkov region. Three attacks launched by assault groups of armed forces of Ukraine's 63rd Mechanized, 12th and 18th National Guard Brigades were repelled close to Chervenaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 30 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, and three motor vehicles. The U group of forces units improved the situation along the front line and inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine's 79th Air Assault, 46th Airmobile, 22nd and 67th Mechanized Brigades close to Maximilianovka, Stopachki, Paraskovaivka, and Kalinina, Donetsk People's Republic. Three counterattacks of the armed forces of Ukraine 28th Mechanized Brigades units were repelled west of Krasnoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 610 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, five motor vehicles, one 152mm Stabi howitzer, one 152mm D-20 howitzer, one ammunition depot, as well as one NOTA electronic warfare station. The center group of forces units improved the tactical situation and repelled eight counterattacks launched by assault groups of armed forces of Ukraine 25th Airborne, 23rd, 24th, 100th, and 115th Mechanized Brigades close to Novo Bakhmatovka, Leninskoy, Pervomeskoy, and Novo Kolonovo, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy lost up to 355 Ukrainian troops, two infantry fighting vehicles, and five motor vehicles. In the course of the counter-battery warfare, one Czech-made 152mm Dana self-propelled gun, one 152mm D-20 howitzer, one 122mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system, and one 122mm D-30 howitzer were hit. The Vostok group of forces units captured more advantageous lines and inflicted losses on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized. 128th Territorial Defense Brigades near Staromayorskoy and Eurozainoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 120 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, one U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer for ammunition depots, as well as one Anklav electronic warfare station. The Dnepr group of forces units have inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine 23rd National Guard, 121st Territorial Defense Brigades close to Nikopol, Dnepropetrovsk region, Mykolovka, and Zolotea Baka, Kherson region. The enemy losses were more than 30 Ukrainian troops, four motor vehicles, one 152mm D-20 gun, one 122mm D-30 howitzer and one U.S.-made 105mm M119 howitzer. Operational Tactical Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Russian Groups of Forces have engaged one aviation fuel depot, two transport infrastructure facilities used for military purposes, as well as armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware in 112 areas. Russian air defense units have shot down one Su-25 aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force, 213 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as five French-made hammer aerial guided bombs. In total, 591 airplanes and 270 helicopters, 
22,095 unmanned aerial vehicles, 506 air defense missile systems, 15,812 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,267 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 8,991 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 21,183 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.